in the university. But in my presentation, I will highlight two things that university students must take note. The first thing is don't be afraid of new experience because there are a lot of exciting things that can happen to us in university life. And the second one is start a fitness routine on your own. After all, it is important to stay fit and healthy to maintain our best performance. First of all, goes to university. Goes to the university, especially for a student, for a new student is already a new experience. And we may already be outside our comfort zone. It is important to constantly challenge ourselves. Sometimes we will surprise ourselves with how much we love certain new experience. We must get out from our comfort zone to help us to develop as a person and find new passions, hobbies, and interests. It will also help us to determine what kind of activities aren't for us. As a university student, we have more time than we will when we are working. It is the right time to explore new things that we never go through when we in primary school. There is a chance that we will find out our new talents such as dance and sing, or maybe we can try out some new sports such as swimming and esports. Even, if, even if we're trying out something alone, chances are a lot of people around us are also doing the same things. Next, when we try new things, it will increase our self-confidence because if we do new things every day, we might get used to it and indirectly will increase our self-confidence. We, we might be getting used to talking in front of many people that we can afford in our prim primary school. Lastly, the best thing about trying new experience is that they are a great way to meet and know a new friend that has the same interest with us. The next point is start the fitness routine. Living on our own is in, in university can be overwhelming. Add to that a full schedule of classes and having to manage our course and activities. And we are very likely to forget to take care of ourselves. This makes many students gain weight in their first semester at university. This is because they are in charge of, of their meals and often forget to do some exercise. Take charge of our fitness regimen from the start and make sure that we don't suffer from any lasting health problems. As a young adult, we should be at the peak of our health and fitness abilities. So, make sure we set a good habit in taking care of ourselves that we can maintain into adulthood. First of all, we must set a healthy eating lifestyle. Make sure that we avoid a high cholesterol meals every day because it can develop a fat in our blood vessel and it will make the blood difficult to flow. If we maintain our fitness routine, it will help us to lose weight in no time and we can maintain our stamina in the university life without worry about a disease. Lastly, if we start a fitness routine, it will help us to improve our brain health and memory. This is because when, when we do some exercise, it will increase our heart rate and promotes the flow of blood and oxygen to our brain, which makes our brain receive a lot of oxygen in the blink of an eye. And will make our brain stimulate the production of hormones that can enhance the growth of our brain cells. So try joining a physical activity or go to or go to the gym three or five times a week. That's all from me. Thank you. I will pass to the next member to continue our presentation. Thank you, Shahjan, for your lovely presentation just now. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Hisham bin Zainal and I would like to continue this presentation. <clears throat> I will now try to explain to you about things you should not do once you set your foot at the university. In my opinion, I think we should all need to think this truly because your life at the university <clears throat> are very different compared to your school life. At the university, all things you do will reflect on your grade once you have taken exams, meaning, when you take one wrong step, it may cause you to suffer. 
right now, I will explain it to you about two things that you should not do. First, don't be disrespectful to your lecturer because they will be the one who will change your life and your future. Second, you should not focus only for the last semester. This is a very terrible mistake students always do. Next slide, please. As I have said earlier, you always have to make sure that you are not being disrespectful towards your lecturers because they are the main factors that will have the biggest impact on your grades. It is because they will be the person who will be marking all your assignments and exams, always coming late to class, being rude to them and not doing the assignments given. Then how you can then how can you have thought that you will get good grades if you if your attitudes are like that? Even the lecturers have feelings and they want to be respected. As a result, you are being called up by the dean to explain about the lack of your performance in class. This is arguably the biggest mistakes you can do. Instead, you should be nice to them and treat them with respect. They are putting every effort they have to teach you in order to educate you so you can achieve your dreams and have a bright future. If you like, you can treat them like they are your parents. So you will always remember that they will always have your back and help you navigate your future. Next slide. While making sure your relationship with your lecturer is as good as it can be, do not ever forget that your own effort is needed in order to get great marks, which is why you should not put your efforts only for the last semester. SVM is very dif different compared to the tests you are taking at the university, especially in the measurement of your grades. In SVM, you only need to pass Bahasa Malaysia and History to get the certification, meaning even though in the previous test, you are not doing great, but in SPM, you passed those two subjects, you can get a certification. Unfortunately, in university, your grades will usually be measured cumulatively once you start your first semester. It means the result of every test you take in the program will be considered. If you only put efforts in the last semester, you will not be able to get good results and far from getting your diploma. What I want to suggest you to do is you must focus on your studies since the first day to ensure that you get to do great at your assignments and tests, hence increasing your chance to have a good grade. Pay full attention in class and jot down everything you hear, then use it to make sure you fully understand that what your lecturer is teaching. I agree, university is indeed a, a, fun, a fun place but you should not forget to put a consistent effort so you can have a happy ending once you have finished your studies. I think that's all for me. Thank you for listening. I will now pass the presentation to our last group member. Thank you, Hisham. Hello, everyone. Peace be upon to you all. My name is Muhammad Ali Fakim Ben Azami, and I would like to continue my presentation as it called Do's and Don'ts Things in University Life. As you can all see and hear from what our group member has shown and spoken to you people about the life of a university student, what to do and what you should never do, student life is full of a bizarre adventure. For the do's like don't be afraid of new experience to a fitness routine on your own. Both of these is simply one of many ways to make your university life better. Some students might get coping with their problems in different ways. Likewise, everyone has their own way to cope with their life problems. So you should try one of these and see if they would work for you. On the other hand, there are also things that you should never do as a student at university. For example, being on your lecturer's bedside and trouble and put efforts only on the last semester. Hence, both of these might get you in trouble when you want to graduate from the university. Usually, a young adult like student mostly in university 
who just only know a bit about the world would carelessly waste their time of having fun with friends and searching for entertainment endlessly, ultimately igno ignoring that their future is within their grasp. In a nutshell, we are only advisors and presenters that shows you what you should do and don't in university life. We are also recommend you to search for the solution in forums like Reddit and Quora, since many people have already experienced university life in the world and they have good advice for you. At the end of the day, only through your action and wills will determine whether you'll be able or not to strive through the challenges and sufferings in graduating your education in a, in a university. All people want to create a joyous memory during their education in university, so let's try to make one of it and ever as many regrettable choices and do not and do our best for our dream in our university life that's all from us thank you uh, do anyone have some question Okay, I guess no question from the floor. All right, thank you, presenters. Uh, good job, good elaboration. Uh, good idea. For uh, content, we've got no problem. It's just that for individual delivery. For the next other presentation, please do not read from the text. Uh, try to make it your own. And try to make it your own and not you are it's like you're reading someone else's uh essay that's all for the first that is the only comment for first group um yeah so thank you for the first one so let's just continue to the next group which is group seven thank you madam Now, where is group seven? Anif Rizwan, Hafiz Azizi, Shamil Ikmal, Wan Ruzli, and Amar Mustafa. How about Amar? Switch on the camera, no camera, no appearance marks. Can we start now, Megan? Tadi lagi I dah suruh start. Sorry, sorry. <coughs> okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. And a very good morning. I beat Madam and my fellow friend. Okay, today our, gra uh, our group will present the topic called adjustment to a new life in university but before that uh, i would like to introduce my team member M uh, my name is muhammad shamik and the, uh, the other team member muhammad amma bin mustafa kamal muhammad afiz aziji bin muhaimin muhammad anif rizwan bin muhammad rafi and one ruslin binti megat rumizi Next, I would like to talk about our introduction. Okay, for the main point, uh, for the introduction, 
every people undergoing Tuesdays in their life, especially when they're not as students. Okay. Since every people in this world will undergo many phases in their lives, <coughs> so as a student, there are phases uh, starting from the kindergarten and then move to the uh, secondary and primary level studies, and final their yeah, final journey will end at university. So that means they are undergoing many changes and different changes in every thing they, uh, they do in their life. Uh, second, university life is the final journey for every student in their career. Third, each phase requires changes and improvement in order to survive. Okay, since there are many phases and new phases need changes and sometimes they will become harder and more different challenge in order to keep survive. So they need to improve more to survive. And for the adaptation on this language to occur more faster. Um, next, uh, I would like to pass it to the next presenter for first paragraph. Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. My name is Marizin Binti Mukarmizi. Today I will share about tips when we move to university life as student. First of all, as a student, we need to set goals of our life. It is very important because without goals, we are going to as a student university. With all the assignment and need to check our college, need to check quality of our work. Uh, for example, you uh, go will help us set our, set our priorities as a student university. It means we need to complete all the assignment and need to check the quality of our work. We also need to finish the assignment before the due date and must stay on top of assignment and not fall behind. You must make good choice on the path we are going to choose. If, for example, if you choose the wrong path, it will affect your journey to be successful. For example, you choose focus, you choose to focus study and and finish your assignment on time without getting lazy. As a result, you will get the higher mark. And if you not start, if you choose the wrong path, for example, if you getting lazy to study, especially during pandemic COVID nineteen, I know what all of you feel as uh, because I am student too. I know what all of us feel. It's difficult to for us to study online to study alone through Google Meet and make discussion with our group mate through Google Google Meet or WhatsApp. So it is it is difficult to us. If it if we choose the wrong path, we not attend the class, we not study alone and if we not study with our friends and not ask uh, about some about topic we not understand and understand. We'll, uh, our mark will get low, low, and our uh, education will down. So this shows that as a student, setting goals is very important thing we need to do. Seeing that people and to accomplish our ambition. Uh, that's all from me. So. Uh, I pass our presentation to my friend. Assalamualaikum and good morning. Uh, my name is Muhammad Anif Rizwan bin Muhammad Rafi. And I 
want to talk about seek out for a study spot, seek out for a study spot in university life. Um, you should have your own study spot so you can study without housemate keeps bothering you. It is different from home because you have your own study spot in your bedroom. Um, why you need your own study spot so you can be more focused and you can understand understand something better um the environment will be not noisy and it is good because you will not be disturbed by anything um uh, what does study sports mean uh, study sport is uh So this part is a place for you to study in your own personal space and your own study time. Uh, study, space, study spot can be a room or a library or hall. Uh, you, you can be all along or with, with friends, but still you need to find a study spot that can, that are, We <clears throat> and it full with everyone. What ideal feature for your study spot? You need your study spot is clean and tidy uh, to give you a positive aura. You so you. And second, it need to be open space so you can be more comfortable. Third is your you are away from any distraction, so your mind are free to think and do revision or assignment uh, without any distractions. Okay, I will pass the present to next presenter. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Hafiz Aziji bin Muaymin. Now I will present about prioritize time management. Okay. Why we need to manage our time because we need to we need to manage our time because we need to deliver our work on time. Many of students submit their work uh, late because they cannot manage their time wisely. So they will look, we, we, they will do the work after the due date. So they will submit the work late. Second, when we manage our time, we can reduce our stress because we doesn't think about work because we can finish our work in time. So we we not have many work to do. The next thing is we will become more efficient because we will more focus to the work we will do at that time. So we will don't think about the other work when we do the work. Next slide. What is time? What is manage time? Manage time is we plan our activity on that day so we can reduce our stress because we have planned our activities and we just follow our plan. So when we follow our plan, we will increase our quality of work. So that's all for me. Next, Amma. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Wawa Amma. So with uh, my friend, with all my friend say, uh, we, can clearly, we can clearly see university is undeniably exciting uh, with mature and fast pace than previous education. Uh, finding a good balance between study and leisure are uh, the key to success. However, student may face many challenges and difficulty that may different to one to another. 
So it is very common for students to face difficulty and challenges in adjusting uh, to new life at the university, especially during this time. Uh, but then we must take this opportunity to learn and grow the best we can. Uh, in conclusion, I as a student myself hope that in this challenging time, all the students will get the most out of their university experience and in life. Uh, that's all from us. Thank you. All right. Thank you for the second presenters. Uh, all the points, uh, the topic are okay, are fine. Uh, just make sure, yeah, same like the first group for next your not your next presentation. Please do not read from any text. Um, at least memorize your text and mix it make it your own do not read it um, and do not ev even read from the slides okay just talk naturally like you are having it in your mind and then you let it out do not read from any text even if you're memorizing then don't show that you're memorizing, but make it like you are having it from your own idea, okay? These two groups are showing the, the presentation, the way you speak is like you are reading, okay? And that is not actually a presentation, but never mind. Um, because when you are reading, we couldn't really determine how is your fluency, how is your accuracy, because you're reading. Okay. All right. So, uh, thank you for the second group. Let's just move on to the next group, which is group two: Camilla, Kasara, Irdina, Balkis, and Parawaida. Sorry, Camilla, I couldn't hear you. I don't no, no. Uh, the only thing that I can recognize is like your, your voice sounds like chipmunks. Your voice sounds like chipmunks. I don't know, maybe the microphone probably. No. No. Maybe you can use your phone and ask someone else to present.
air mungkin ya ah ready asking to join no there is no notification you asking the correct link huh? are you asking the correct link no notification pop up Uh, no, madam. If he use the same email, he will get in <coughs> normally. Uh, no need to let me. So is it okay? Uh, okay. okay. So I'll start again. Okay. Sorry for the very inconvenient station. Okay. Hi everyone. Uh, good morning, madam. Good morning, my friends. Our group will present and, and share some knowledge with you about healthy lifestyle. Okay. Before we start, let me introduce myself. My name is Kemilia Binti Abdul Rahim. Uh, my friend Nur Farah Wahida, Nur Balkis, Kaisara Shamimi, and Idina Nadira. Okay. Healthy lifestyle, uh, well known as physical health, but actually mental health also consists in the healthy lifestyle. Uh, I will brief a bit about the main point in this presentation. So first, we will talk about mental health. Positive thinking helps with stress management and can even improve your health. Those who can handle the negativity in prolong, they can avoid the depression and anxiety disorder. Okay. Second, balanced diet consists of seven classes of food, which are carbohydrates, um, fiber, fats, protein, minerals, vitamin, and so on. For a good health, we need more than 40 different nutrients because there is no single food that can supply them all. It is not about a single meal, it is about a balanced food choice over time that will make a difference about your health. Say, uh, for example, uh, you need protein. So today you get it from chicken, then tomorrow you get it from fish. Besides, we should drink plenty of water. As we know, for every 25 kilograms of our mass, we should drink one liter of water. Okay. Third, sports. There are many kinds of activities such as for cardio, muscles, and so on. Uh, our aim is to reach your fitness goal and also to maintain an ideal BMI. BMI is an abbreviation for body mass index. So there are three main points. For you to know or understand more about it, my friend will explain in detail. All right, that's all from me. Thank you very much. And we will proceed with my friend, Farah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And hi, my name is Nor Farah Wahida bin Tizki Shafadi. Today, I will tell you guys about mental health. Why are mental health are important? It is because it can affect many areas of students' life. It can reducing their quality of life. 
uh, they li their life, the student's life could be miserable if they couldn't manage their mental health well because they have to think a lot of things as a student. It is also affect the academic achievement. Because of the bad mental health, they are more likely to have a poor grade in a subject that they are learning. Next, it will also affect the physical health of the student. When the student, uh, when there are many works to do, and the students might get a high level of stress or distress, um, or the, they might get a depression. Depression, uh, depression is a risk of a coronary of heart disease. From that, they will get a schizophrenia that will be getting worse. Then, uh, the satisfaction with the university also can affect the student. Their satisfaction will decrease when being in a university because they couldn't deal with their mental health properly. What is the cause of mental health? The, the main cause of mental health is exam and deadline of assignment. I know that all the students here are struggling with assignment, 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 quiz and quiz again, test and test more. Sometimes I think that all the lecturers in the university are conspiring to make all of us do the assignment in the same time, but it's not. It's just a coincidence. And also, students got a problem with managing their own finances. Managing your money is a challenge. Uh, some students might spend their money without thinking about the future. When their money were all about dwindling, they started belt their belly and eat ramen and instant noodles. And also, students might uh, students had to buy many of module of different subjects that will be costly. Students also uh, had to cope with home sickness. Some students might never might never uh, being away from. Uh, their family, they might miss uh, their family, their mom and dad so badly until they will get high fever. So that will affect their uh, their academic. And also, students got a problem with maintaining relationship with their friends or family. Uh, I know all of us here uh, ever ask our friend about the question about assignment or whatever. Um, Sometimes I think that the friends that we ask for might get annoyed with us. So I think that will be a bad relationship. This is how to boost your mental health. You should get plenty of sleep. You should wake in the morning. You should rest your mind and wake in the morning with the positive vibe on you. You should engage in hobbies. You should do the things that you like to make your mind getting calmer. You should disconnect from negativity. Negativity is bad for your mental health. You should stay patient to create more space. For example, if one person of your group are, didn't submit uh, their work, you should stay patient and talk to them so, so politely. And also, you should reward yourself. So, uh, you, if you had study hard or get it, get the good grade, you should reward yourself by uh, do, doing the things that you like or uh, buying the things that you like. And last but not least, you should be grateful. Be grateful for what you have done. Tell to yourself that you had done enough, you, then, you had done a good thing. Try more in the future. I guess that's all from me. See my friends in the next one. Thank you, Farah. Hi, my name is Nobaltis. So today I want to present about balanced budget of four students. 
Balance diet is very important for all of us because it can supply a good nutrient for the growth of the human body. Our body is an organism that needs enough nutrient and nutrient to perform organ fu function. Next, it can help uh, energy production, removal of toxic waste in the body and various other function. For example, a diet production, uh, for example, a diet containing dairy production, such as milk and cheese, can increase the production of calcium in the body and can make bones and teeth strong. So we must intake of, of food and adequate uh, vitamin to make our body healthy and fit. And, and, in addition, a balanced diet is important to reduce the risk of dangerous disease. But most students today prefer to eat fast food and snack. Fast food, fast food and snack uh, are not good for, for the body. For them, such as food is easy to eat, prepare and low cost. For your, for your information, all this food contain too much cholesterol, sugar, salt, and fat. If we regularly eat fast food and or snack, we will have a high risk uh, of development, uh, obesity, diabetes, and even stroke. Therefore, we must eat following the food pyramid of has been set so that our body is always healthy. At the same time, a balanced diet can provide uh, several mental uh, health as well as more infection and infective memory department. Lack of certain nutrients can make person mentally disturb and suffer from danger. The, this condition also can make us easily feel tight. Feel tight. To profit, for example, when we lack a source of vitamin C, an important nutrient, it can cause us, us to have memory problem. It also cause a, fail, a person to fail to deal with their problem they face. Um, that's all for me, so I proceed to my friend. Okay, thank you Balkis. My name is Kaisara Syamun Binti Rosli and I will present about sports. Sport is a physical activity that requires energy and agility. There are two types of sport, indoor and outdoor. Indoor sports are like badminton and basketball, while the outdoor sports are like football and rugby. This is the example of sport that we can do in UCT. As we all know, sport and health are heavily connected. Uh, the main point of sport is it will burn calories, as burn exceeded calories than our body needs. Exceed calorie will lead us to overweight and obesity. If you all want to know, the prevalence of obese adult in Malaysia is the highest in Southeast Asian country, as much 15.6% compared with Brunei, Thailand, and Indonesia. One of the cause is lack of physical activities. Other than that, sport can strengthen our heart muscle. It is because uh, it is because sport teaches us how to control our breathing properly. As a result, heart can pump oxygen to the whole body perfectly and avoid us from getting heart disease at a young age. By doing sport like jogging, it will produce wet, which is toxin in our body. As a student, it is important to release toxin in our body because it makes us always fatigue and poor have a poor memory. A healthy body will make us have a smart mind, so then we will easily compete an assignment. 
Moreover, we will not sleepy and get more focused in class. In the conclusion, sports are important not just for student health, but also for all ages. So, we must spend at least 15 to 30 minutes doing any sport that we like. If we cannot go out, we can do indoor activities like skipping or any fitness exercise at home. By always doing physical activities, we can stay health, uh, we can stay healthy and can clean a bit of health. Uh, I will pass to the last presenter, Nadira. Okay, thank you, Kasara Shamimi. Hi and hello. My name is Udina Nur Nadira Mithil Shamzani. And I will present about conclusion. Okay, let's look at the conclusion. Overall, physical and mental health is important to stay healthy and, and balanced in our lives. If you do maintain a healthy lifestyle, there are many benefits and not only for your body. Some are maintaining a healthy life, a healthy weight, uh, increasing bone mass, uh, reducing, rate, reducing risk of developing heart disease and improving mood. Moreover, in university life hacks, we only have us. Our health is our responsibility and we have in order to survive ourselves. Everyone deserves to get a healthy body and peace of mind, but a handful of people a handful, a handful of people know and want to own it. In Malaysia, we can see at this point in time how many humans suffering back pain, especially in old people, and regretting it because of the fact that not exercise in their young age. Do not cry over speak me, everyone. Mental sickness is more likely experienced by teenagers. Uh, uh, experienced by teenager, and we as students should not ignore and let uh, these problems controlling us. Instead, striving to come over it because it can lead us to depression, eating disorders, and many more. I do hope so we students of University Tun Hussein On could be more productive and creative in our lives. Thus, success will be ours. Next um, recommendation. You may have wondered what is the best way to get a healthy life. Here is my recommendation. My recommendation when it comes to healthy lifestyle is get early, is get active early. As an example, you, we can take a walk or jogging in the morning around half past six with fresh air. In fact, it, we, it will calm our mind to start the day. Then eat your breakfast, preferably seven o'clock to nine o'clock or within two hours of getting up. The sooner you eat breakfast after you wake up, the better for your metabolism. But before you go for a walk, or jogging, it is best to take or have a light meal 20 to 30 minutes before. Eat healthy and at least get meals three times per day. In case you are in diet, get more vegetables, fruits, and protein, but less fat. Remember, diet is not a reason to avoid meal, but keep it healthy and balanced. Skip meals or not even eat would affect our mind and emotion and not have enough energy. No glucose in blood and it, pairs, and it impairs normal brain function. Next, drink eight glasses of water to hydrate your body and smoothing our brain to think too. Besides, get enough sleep, minimum six hours, but better for students is eight hours so our body and mind fully charged and energetic. Get a lot of friends and also a good listener. So in case have any problems, our friends are the solver to help us overcome it. Having a good supporter and authority may lighten the burden in our head and prevent stress. I do know it is quite difficult 
to have a routine and stick to it. However, practice makes perfect. In a general week, perhaps you may suffer a bit. Whenever there is a will, there will always be a way. Thank you. That's all from me and our group. Okay, thank you for the presenters. Uh, no problem with your point, no problem with your idea, elaboration and all. Uh, it's just that some of you are reading, some of you are memorizing, while some of you are, yes, presenting. So practice more on presentation, I mean your oral skills. Uh, do less of memorizing and do less of reading. Avoid reading, okay? Some of you are okay, some of you are just reading. Uh, so I got no, no other comments besides that one. So thank you again for the third group. Then we continue to the last group for today, which is group number six. Ali Furkan, Afif, Jasmine, Farana, and Nurin Shamila. Okay, you guys listen to my voice. Okay, let's continue. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and good morning to everyone. Hope you all are doing fine. Before I proceed, let me introduce my teammate and myself. My name is Muhammad Afif Jazini bin Irojizat. I am from Kedah and I study at University Sun Hussein on Malaysia in Faculty Diploma of Electrical Engineering. My teammates for this presentation are Nurin Suhaila, Nur Farhana, and Ali Furkan. They are also in the same faculty with me. Okay, our theme for this presentation is about survival in the university. And after being discussed about our topic, we decided to choose a topic about staff involvement in association club. Maybe you have wondered about it. As we know, university is a new experience for students before they are going into working environment. When we hear about university, we might think that it has many it relate it has many activities that related to the university. One of the activities that students can do when they are in the university is by joining the association club. Most of students already know that it has various types of association clubs. For example, photography club, hiking club, stamp club, recycle club, and so on. So, students no need to worry because they can choose which club are they interested to join. By joining the association club, a student can improve, can, a student can be a better student. Why that I am say like that? This is because it has many benefits that suit with students. For example, if the student is like skill of something that he likes to do, which is take photos, maybe he do not know how to take photo at the at the right angle or maybe he do not know how to edit the photo properly. So the solution is he can join 
the club that related to his interest and this will improve student to be a good and better student from what i can say is by joining the association club student can be more knowledgeable and there are many more benefits that students can obtain when they are joining the association club and if you guys want to know more about the benefits so without wasting our time let's continue to the next segment with Nurin Suhaila Thank you, Afif, and good morning to Madam and my fellow. My name is Nurin. On this wonderful day, I would like to talk regarding to our topic, which is uh, self-involvement uh, in association club. There are plenty of club or societies uh, to choose from university. And I believe by choosing the right clubs and societies will be a huge, a huge advantage uh, for you. Let me start by uh, sharing with you the first benefit which is by joining sport-based club or societies will indirectly lead you to a healthy lifestyle and it, and it is a great way to boost your fitness level. This club give you access, often discount, all sorts of different sport activities. Let me give you an example. You can join a sport club such as netball, handball, volleyball, and football. Uh, let's say you are more into indoor sport, you can join club like table tennis, badminton, squash, basketball, volleyball, or even swimming. But okay, let's say you are uh, like more tough activities, you can try boxing. Boxing gives you a lot of benefit, such as you can use it for self-defense if you are end up in dangerous situation. Other than that, people who have issues with their anger, like me, can channel it into something positive like boxing. Being a student is with limited financials, we can more likely to eat fast food or to save time and money. Uh, the appeal of instant meals, junk food, nearly zero physical activities will lead to get, uh, weight gain and this is unavoidable and we surely don't want it. So a great way and an expensive way to stay fit and have fun is to join sport club at our university. There will be a number of sporty activities during the year, during the year that you can compete in, no matter what stage you are. Uh, this is essential because having a healthy lifestyle is much important than being book smart only. As saying goes, health is a wealth. In advance, a cardiovascular activities often help to protect the hurt and avoid dangerous health problems such as heart disease, high blood pressure, high diabetes and also obesity. In order to help you to lose fat and calories, cardio exercise will also help you more, uh, sleep more soundly during the night, decrease stress level and have more optimistic mindset. Also, it can boost your energy level. Thus, there are various fun and engaging activities uh, that you can do when you join a club. And while do these things, uh, you can try uh, you can uh, decrease your stress level. Uh, and then, 
uh, exercise it is also a great way to reduce stress because when you move, your body uh, will elevate uh, and produce endorphin and it will boost your mood. Um, all in all, I strongly recommend you to join any sport club or societies to have a, a healthy lifestyle. Uh, I think that all for me. I pass this presentation to Hannah. Thank you. Thank you, Noreen, uh, for the presentation. Uh, I'm Nofar Hana, and I will tell more. Uh, I will tell the others uh, benefit of joining a club. Uh, one of the best thing of uh, joining club is that you can make a new friend. Because a uh, club has a considerable amount of uh, numbers of members. So let's say when the test is uh, given, you make and you must communicate with the person you never know. Okay, from there, it can create a part of each other. And most clubs have uh, regular meetings uh, or get together uh, in a few times a week. Which means you spend uh, a lot of time with other members. And they may also invite you to join in other activities outside the club. Uh, so from there, you will get to know even more people. Okay. Um, so uh, if you are maybe a new student or you are at the begin beginning of your SAM, and you decide to join any kind of club, uh, you better look for a club that interests you. It's very important to you to look for it because uh, usually club is something uh, you like, uh, is something uh, you like. You do something without force and you love to do that. Okay, uh, when you get your interest, uh, it is easy to get along with the people you meet because you all have the sum, you all have the something in common. Uh, even you are the most introvert person, joining club will force you to interact and communicate with the peers that have similar interests as you. Because uh, you are designed, uh, you are designed to develop a relationship with at least uh, one person in the club that you decide to join. Uh, I think without communication, the task doesn't work, and you are not able to enjoy the club because you better not to join the club because it's nothing without communication. Uh, the fun thing about making a new friends in the club is that uh, you get to explore and surround yourself with something that you know you like. Uh, in doing so, uh, you surround yourself with uh, people who like the same thing. So, of the back, you have something in common with the people around you. Uh, next is, uh, we can increase our knowledge. Uh, joining a club gives you the opportunity to learn a lot about the subject. Uh, let's say uh, if you're interested in a gardening, but you don't have any idea where to start. A gardening members, a gardening club will have members uh, who have been gardening for years for sure and who will be too excited to share their knowledge on practical, practical topics such as uh, um, growing seeds, pest control and propagating plants. And sometimes uh, in a club, your job may be, may be something you already great, or it may be something you have no experience with. At the way, there is always something to learn. Uh, for example, uh, if you are doing some tasks and you got complaining for your lecturer, from your lecturer, from the other student, for someone, for sure you will make it again and again so that the task perfect. Okay, from that situation, uh, you get to know how the correct way to do the task. Um, being in a club always provides you with a new learning opportunities. Uh, whether uh, it gives you your first experience, uh, improve your soft skills, or teach you how to set up for events, uh, these are all skills you can take with you into the workforce. Okay, uh, Learning to work in a large group such as club is a great way to prepare yourself in the future. Because um, uh, the more you the more you uh, push yourself in the club, the more you will develop the skills. Uh, I'll give you an example. Let's say uh, you are uh, you are passionate about coding. Uh, you might join the coding club, right? 
um, where you will develop teamwork, uh, province, problem solving, and analytical thinking skills, right? You could take that patient even further and create your own coding club where you will develop goal settings, uh, time management, presentation, leadership, and public speaking skills. Uh, and yes, that's a lot of responsibility. Um, each and every step will teach you a new skill that you can use for the rest of your life. Joining a club is a for me, uh, joining, a, joining a club is a very important because while you are studying, at the same time, you increase your knowledge and that will be so meaningful when you get older because you already experienced it and uh, when you get older, uh, you will not be uh, in the awkward situation. Uh, that's all for me. Thank you. I uh, I give to the next presenter, Alif. Hold on. Thank you, Hana, for your present presentation. My name is Muhammad Alif Alfurkan bin Ismail, and now I will continue with the conclusion. In summary, as we know, uh, club association in some universities are not mandatory, but in my opinion, this association club uh, should be mandatory for every uni university student. Why? Uh, this That is because association club have many advantages from various aspects. As we can see in the previous slide show, which we as uni university students are required to have a lot of skills. For example, uh, communication skills, critical thinking and problem solving, and so on. So by joining this association club, you can hone your skill either micro or macro skill. For example, your skill in multitasking. You can learn how to do many works at one time and the works can be done efficiently. In addition, by joining this association club, your market value will also increase. After you graduate, many companies will try to attract you to join their company. Because of what? Uh, because they know the advantages you have. Above all, the most important thing is how you manage your time. If we, as uni university students, cannot manage our time wisely, uh, the skills that we develop while doing uh, association club will not look will not be looked by anyone. Okay, next slide. And now we move to recommendation. For recommendation, I have listed some recommendation for association club and also for student. So recommendation for the for the association club that I have listed, the first is to organize an interesting meeting. By having interesting meeting, students will be easily attracted. Why do I dare to say something like that? Uh, that's because all students will easily attracted to something that is fun. And in addition, through, through this fun meeting, uh, there will be more thoughtful idea can be added to clubs annual event itself. Next, uh, you must do all the activities according to the annual plan. Uh, usually, many clubs will skip at least one of their activities that they have listed for their annual events uh, on a reason they don't have enough time. And at last, Organize activities so that all members can participate. Thus, three members of the club will not feel that they are being ignored. Apart from that, there are also the pleasure. I'm sorry. Apart from that, they also feel the pleasure of the association activities. So that's all for association club. And now we move to recommendation for club members or students. Firstly, students must join the club that you are interested. If you join a club that you are in, I'm sorry. If you if you join a club that you are not interested in, uh, your spirit while doing the activities for the club will be at very bad level. Secondly, you must show a dedication in activities for the club. 
it is because without dedication, every activity you perform uh, for the for the association club will be bleak. And last but not least, uh, you must join brainstorming final event fun. Uh, if you just keep quiet uh, in the meeting without giving an opinion, other club members will feel uncomfortable. Why? It is because they feel that we are useless for the club. So with all of this reason, we as university students must join association club because it gives us many benefits. I think uh, that's all from us. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for lending us your ears and have a nice day. Uh, anyone who have question, you can uh, you can ask us now. Thank you. Okay, I guess no questions from the floor. Um, thank you for the last presenters. Thank you for the points, the elaboration, and for not reading. Okay. So I guess, yeah, uh, more practices from Alif, Afif, Farhana, I don't think you have any problem in presentation, especially oral. Uh, you got it. You have the skills already. Okay. Uh, but for others, you just need to practice more and more and more so that you are uh, more fluent. Okay. Uh, the grammar part, you can always brush it up, but but by reading or by reading what? reading magazines, newspapers, doing practices, but for uh, oral, oral on, on presenting orally, then that is the one that you need to practice uh, with your friends, with your family, with your siblings, whoever, uh, because that surely you, you, you are already almost there, but you need to, to have more practices. Lah. But that's a, a good thing that you do read. Okay. Um, uh, for points, I don't have any problem for uh, delivery. That's the only comment that I get that I got for you guys. So I would like to just thank you all today, all four groups for the presentation. Um, uh, for the next presentation for next week, then I'll see another the rest of the class. Okay, for you guys who have already done this week, just to show your friends uh, respect since they are here today. So you, I think you should also be there next week lah, okay? And next week is our last meeting, okay? Last meeting for the semester. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, hope to see you guys soon. If you have any other English course next semester.